Hello everyone, this is Chris M, and I'd like to welcome you to this conversation about your Kundalini Awakening experiences. Uh, in this conversation, I'd like to talk with you about synchronicities. Kundalini will bring many, many synchronicities that really move far beyond your normal perception and understanding of what uh, and how this world is set up. Um, so much more is going on outside of your view uh, within the life of a kundalini activated or awakened individual. So much that it, you know, I, I can't even really classify it because a lot of it depends on on what the agenda for divinity is within you. And of course, the typical things that uh, the agenda of, div of the divine is within you is expansion. Expansion of the divine self into the biological or mortal self. And part of that expansion is to introduce the biological self to the intricacies of phenomena that are supporting the transformation into divinity. And, you know, these, this phenomena is, is amazing in its understanding of who you are, how you are, what your circumstances are, and these synchronicities will support that. You'll all of a sudden start noticing uh, perhaps numbers or events. For me, it usually comes down to events. I'll have uh, certain small events that will begin to trigger my awareness, and I'll start tracking these events and seeing how they're fitting together. It's almost like uh, your life is a weave of material, of, of, of cloth, and and the weave is going along just fine, a nice straight weave coming out of, out, out of the loom or the, uh, or the weaver. <laughs> and all of a sudden, it hits a corner where uh, you're represented by more than one uh, plane of existence. And so... All of a sudden, these these synchronicities begin to appear in your life, and you can look at them, and you can chart them. You can kind of go, ah, okay, uh, something's coming up, and uh, this is often what happens with the Kundalini. Uh, phenomena from the Kundalini will also uh, uh, can begin a set of synchronicities that will come to you, and most people, because they don't understand that synchronicities are occurring, uh, won't take notice, but for the Kundalini people... They typically take notice. Go, wow, why am I seeing the the numbers four 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 or one 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 or you know uh, a pattern of numbers or you know why am I seeing a blue bird and then a blue car and then at night I dreamed of a blue orb coming into you know the third eye area. You know these types of synchronicities are you know they're beginning to come together for a person in order to teach them that. Consciousness itself is far beyond what uh, our dictionaries can make of it. Uh, consciousness, especially transformative consciousness, is, is extremely powerful in its level of interpretation, meaning it can mean a lot of different things. You're being shown certain things that are a, a point outside of your normal uh, psychological awareness, far outside. And yet that part of your brain that can kind of get what this is, and that part of the divine structure within your brain that definitely knows what this is, reaches through the divine barriers and begins to assimilate this phenomena, this information into uh, a, a somewhat of a cohesion. Although it doesn't do it to the point where the biological entity doesn't have to struggle. There's still some struggle that must go on in order for the, for the, uh, the person uh, to own and own through knowledge and information mixed in with experience. Uh, 
this is this is very very important. This is similar to the the butterfly fluttering its wings right after it comes out of the of the cocoon in order to bring fluid into those wings so that the butterfly can fly. Uh, you must struggle a little bit with these synchronicities, and you must struggle in understanding what they mean. It doesn't mean you'll never understand. You know, we always have that fatalistic view. You say, oh my God, I'll never understand. <laughs> you will understand. Uh, but you won't understand in the logical, linear format that you're used to understanding things. Okay, You'll understand in a different format of comprehension. So know this and be aware of this and don't be afraid of this. Uh, it, it doesn't, you know... you. Don't go to a psychic or a palm reader or tarot card reader and place this in front of them, especially if they have a, a profit agenda. Uh, you know, they'll say something scary. They'll say something, oh, my God, you know, you saw a blue feather? <laughs> don't, don't, uh, don't torture yourself that way. Don't try to figure it out within logical, linear terms. Go into meditation. Go into devotion and ask for a, a level of clarity be, to be placed upon that synchronicity or that phenomena and see what occurs. Don't try to figure it out with your mind. Okay? Don't try to figure it out with your mind. You can figure it out with your feelings. You can figure it out uh, through your spiritual practice. You know, there are other ways to look at these synchronicities in your life and to understand what they are telling you. All right, so I just wanted to let people know about this part of the Kundalini experience as well. Thank you for watching.